سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر واجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي هارون أخي أشدد به أزري وأشركه في أمري كي نسبحك كثيرا ونذكرك كثيرا إنك كنت بنا بصيرا قال قد أوتيت سؤلك يا موسى ولقد مننا عليك مرة أخرى إذ أوحينا إلى أمك ما يوحى أن قذفيه في التابوت فقذفيه في اليم فليلقه اليم فليلقه اليم بالساحل يأخذه عدو لي وعدو له وألقيت عليك محبة ولتصنع على عيني إذ تمشي أختك فتقول هل أدلكم على من يكفله فرجعناك إلى أمك كي تقر عينها ولا تحزن وقتلت نفسا فنجيناك من الغم وفتناك فتونا فلبثت سنين في أهل مدينة ثم جئت على قدري يا موسى واصطنعتك لنفسي اذهب أنت وأخوك بآياتي ولا تنيا في ذكري 
اذهبا إلى فرعون إنه طغى فقولا له قولا لينا لعله يتذكر أو يخشى قال ربنا إننا نخاف أن يفرط علينا أو أن يطغى قال لا تخافا إنني معكما أسمع وأرى فأتياه فقولا إنا رسولا ربك فأرسل معنا بني إسرائيل ولا تعذبهم ولا تعذبهم قد جئناك بآية من ربك والسلام على من اتبع الهدى إنا قد أوحي إلينا أن العذاب على من كذب وتولى قال فمن ربكما يا موسى قال ربنا الذي أعطى كل شيء خلقه ثم هدى قال فما بال القرون الأولى قال علمها عند ربي في كتاب لا يضل ربي لا يضل ربي ولا ينسى الذي جعل لكم الأرض مهدا وسلك لكم فيها سبلا وسلك لكم فيها سبلا وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرجنا فأخرجنا به أزواجا من نبات شتى الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين كلوا وارعوا أنعامكم إن في ذلك لآيات لأولي منها خلقناكم ومنها منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم ومنها نخرجكم تارة أخرى ولقد أريناه آياتنا كلها فكذب وأبى 
كلها فكذب وأبى قال أجئتنا لتخرجنا من أرضنا بسحرك يا موسى فلنأتينك بسحر مثله فاجعل بيننا وبينك موعدا لا نخلفه نحن لا نخلفه نحن ولا أنت مكانا سوى قال موعدكم يوم الزينة وأن يحشر الناس ضحى فتولى فرعون فجمع كيده ثم أتى قال فما فجمع كيده ثم أتى قال لهم موسى ويلكم لا تفتروا على الله كذبا لا تفتروا على الله كذبا فيسحتكم بعذاب فيسحتكم بعذاب وقد خاب من افترى فتنازعوا أمرهم بينهم وأسروا النجوى قالوا إن هذان لساحران يريدان أن يخرجاكم أن يخرجاكم من أرضكم بسحرهما ويذهبا بطريقتكم المثلى فأجمعوا كيدكم ثم أتوا صفا وقد أفلح اليوم وقد أفلح اليوم من استعلى قالوا يا موسى إما أن تلقي وإما أن نكون أول من ألقى قال بل ألقوا فإذا حبالهم وعصيهم يخيل إليه يخيل إليه من سحرهم أنها تسعى فأوجس في نفسه خيفة موسى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت الأعلى وألق ما في يمينك تلقف ما صنعوا إنما صنعوا كيل ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى فألقي السحرة سجدا قالوا آمنا برب هارون وموسى قال آمنتم له قبل أن آذن لكم إنه لكبيركم الذي علمكم السحر فلأقطعن أيديكم وأرجلكم من خلاف ولأصلبنكم في جذوع النخل ولتعلمن ولتعلمن أينا أشد عذابا وأبقى قالوا لن نؤثرك على ما جاءنا من البينات والذي والذي فطرنا فاقض ما أنت قاض إنما تقضي هذه الحياة الدنيا إن الله خير وأبقى إنه من يأتي ربه مجرما فإن له جهنم فإن له جهنم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا ومن يأته مؤمنا قد عمل الصالحات فأولئك فأولئك الأنهار خالدين فيها خالدين فيها وذلك جزاء من تزكى الله سمع الله Allah.
اللهم الله الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بعد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت باركت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This side, what happened? Huh? They didn't have suhoor, it's true that. They didn't have iftar. No, from what I had, there was, uh, there was a lot of food. Okay. First of all, if you didn't get the book, if you don't have the dua book, if you don't have the dua book as of yet, Please raise up your hand, please. If you don't have the book yet, raise up your hand. Okay. If you're on the book, then you have to sit. You have to sit. The book is going to come to you right now. Shabab, who's going to do that? Let the, let the young people do it. No. Okay, Abdullah is going to do it. Just put your hand up so he know, so they know that uh, you haven't got the book. Now, can you take a second one? No, you cannot take a second one. Let those who didn't get first take. Go this side, this side. The sister side, please somebody count, count the number and then let me know. Let me know as soon as possible how many sisters don't have the book. I think that's enough. It should be enough. No, let them until they talk to us. We it's okay. You don't have a book? Oh, okay. Rams, you go there. Give him, let him go there. The end. Give him, give him. Oh, yeah. I think it's enough. Okay, everybody has a book? Who does not have a book yet and he needs one? 
We have one person there. Okay, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Just give me two minutes of your time. Just two minutes. We'd like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all these favors he has given us. That is number one. There. Number two, I would like to ask you, I would like to ask you for a favor that make use of that book. Make use of that book. The first part of the book, it teaches you how to make dua, how to make your duas accepted. And by the way, we are doing that lecture here. We started today at 7, 7.30. Tomorrow also at 7.15. Tomorrow will be 7.15. We're explaining that book. How do you use that book? The second part of the book from around page 86, I think, is a compilation of over 100 duas of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's a book you can use anytime you want to make dua. You open the book, you make, a, you make the duas which you want. You choose yourself. That is the first favor I'm asking you. Make use of that book. The second favor, when you make dua, make dua to those people who donated those books to you. May Allah bless them and their wealth and their families. Those are some of the brothers who pray with us here, alhamdulillah. And I don't have to mention names. They're the ones who donated those books. Everybody has a book. Okay, alhamdulillah. Sisters, I haven't heard from you guys yet, so we wait. Second thing I want to talk about today is the importance of investing in our children. The importance of investing in our children. Yesterday we were in the West, in Darul Hijra, Darul Hijra Islamic Center. And those, the first two rak'ahs of Taraweeh were led by a young boy who was, I think, nine years old. Nine. I think, and I think he's nine. Maybe he's seven. The second two rak'ahs were led by a boy who was 14. And I asked them, are you doing this on purpose to send a message to Abu Huraira guys who came visiting or what? And they said, no, this is everyday stuff. It's amazing. Amazing. You have to invest in your own children. And the best way to start is right now, these last 11 days of Ramadan. Show them how to worship Allah. When you come to Taraweeh, bring them with you. When you sit to read Quran, make sure they sit with you. Make sure they see you making dua. When you come for Qiyamul Layl, bring them with you. Make, do this, make sure they stand with you. That is how you cultivate your children upon ibadah. And that is the best way. That is the best way. You do it practically. Don't say to your child, go pray. Then he sees you sitting on the couch. This is the best time to teach your children. And alhamdulillah, like I said today in Fajr here, alhamdulillah, this Ramadan, it came when there's no school. Everybody's off. It's the best time to teach our children ibadah, worship. That's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he blesses us. Whether it is salah, whether it is Quran, after taraweeh, we have a lecture here every day now. Every day we have a lecture. On today, we, today we study Tabu Tawheed. We're starting to Tawheed today. Bring them. Let them sit. It's very important. It is very important. It is sad. And I said this. I'm saying it again. And I know some people don't like it. But I'm going to say it. It is sad that you come. You are praying. And your children are running around. In the corridor. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, they are outside. Why? 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 Ask yourself why. And there's no answer. Because I've asked myself this question so many times. Why? There's no answer. Why don't you take hold of them and bring them here? Why don't they pray? This is very, very important. And to show you an example. I'm, so I'm going to show you an example today, inshallah. We're going to bring forth one of those young 
boils. One of the students of Sheikh Abdullah, Sheikh Abdullah who was leading us in Taraweeh, he just led the four rakas today. He has one of his young students, Mus'ab, who is going to recite some Quran right now. Fadl, Sheikh, is he here? Can you check? He's here? Okay. Put this for him uh, safely. Connect this and put it down for him. Turn it around. There you go. Khaliyat is a layer. Ika, Bismillah. How old is he? Who can guess? Eight. Jazakallah khair. MashaAllah, you're very good in guessing. He is eight. And he is reciting with the ahkam, with the rulings of recitation, almost perfect. Not perfect, but almost perfect. This is the real investment which you should be worried about. Time. That was the point I wanted to talk about today. And we are trying to hold Sheikh Abdullah here at Abu Huraira. So after sept in September that he starts a full-time hifd program. So if you meet him down the road, tell him to please stay, Sheikh. Because, you know, he is not from around here. Time, two more things, two more things. Very quickly, announcements, reminders, reminders. 
The WOW conference is WOW. Unbelievable. It's the biggest thing to be happening in Toronto this year, inshallah. But we need volunteers. We need volunteers, Ikhwan. Let's make it happen. Those want to volunteer for any of those different um, fields or um, duties outside on the door, sister's side and brother's side. The WOW conference, September 31st, August 1st. We need, is it August, August 31st and September 1st? We need volunteers for that. Tickets, only $20 for the two days. It's unbelievable. It's wow. Wow conference. Number two, Yaquan, iftar program. Ramadan is going. The one who feeds the person who's fasting, he gets the same reward as him. Almost 600 people have iftar here. Just pitch in what you can. Pitch in what you can. Iftar program, it needs your donations. The masjid needs your donations. Help as much as you can. Trust me, when you don't help, there's people who help. Masha Allah. Those books, it's not from me. I'm being honest. I'm not done. Okay? I'm just a distributor. There's people who paid for those books. And now they're for you for free. And we're going to go to another mas masjid tomorrow and give them out for free. And go to another masjid and give others for free. Imagine how many people benefit from those who gave. And these are the days of giving. So please, this is your masjid. Volunteer for the WOW conference. Donate for the iftar. Donate for the masjid. Jazakumullah khairan wa barakallahu fikum.